In this video, I'll go through an example of determining the magnitude of the resultant of two force vectors. Uh, as the question asks, we will also determine the direction of this resultant force uh, relative to the positive u axis, right, which is over here. So before we start, let's consider what we have. Uh, we have our force F1 of 300 newtons acting 30 degrees clockwise from the u-axis and we have force F2 equal to 500 newtons at 45 degrees to this v-axis which is also at 70 degrees to the u-axis. In this solution we'll use the method of uh, adding our vector forces via the tip to tail method. We'll start our solution by drawing the vector force F1. So we need to move our force F2, the tail of force F2 over to the tip of force F1. To do that I want to know uh, the direction of the force F2 relative to F1. So if we Note that that angle between the u-axis and the v-axis is 70 degrees right, because of the opposite angles here. So therefore that little angle in here is 40 degrees. So therefore this angle in here is 85 degrees and therefore this angle in here will be 95 degrees. So we can now draw our force F2 at 95 degrees to F1. Note that we have the tail of F2 at the tip of F1. So then our resultant FR goes from the tail of F1 to the tip of F2. So now having drawn our vector diagram, uh, we just need the trigonometry of the triangle to work out our unknowns. So in this case we have an unknown length, the resultant FR, and uh, we have a known angle, the 95 degrees in here, and we have a known side and another known side. So uh, the trigonometri trigonometric um, identity that we can use for that is the law of co cosines. Um, so we can put that in. So you may remember that from high school, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. So in this case, uh, a is the side fr, and capital A is the angle 95 degrees, and the b and c are the other two sides, so f1 and f2 are the b and c in the cosine rule equation. So if we take the square root of both sides and substitute in all our values, we can solve for our unknown res uh, resultant force, Fr, and that gives us 605.1 newtons. So the next part of the problem is to find uh, the direction of the resultant force, Fr, relative to the u-axis. So we need to know this angle in here. Uh, we know 30 degrees already from the information that was given at the start. So we just need to work out this angle in here. And if we have um, an angle and a side and another side and an unknown angle, uh, we can use the sine rule to work out that angle. So let's write out the sine rule and um, put angle theta on our diagram as our unknown angle that we're trying to find. So we have the sine rule A over sine A equals B over sine B. Uh, for the sine rule, we need this angle here, capital A, to be opposite the side little a. So on our diagram here, we want to know this angle theta. So the side opposite to that will be F2. And the other side and angle that we know is, uh, we know this angle here, 95, and we now know the resultant force FR we just calculated that. So we can substitute all of that into the sine rule. So rearrange that equation to solve for theta. So theta equals sine to the minus one or a sine um, 
if you're more familiar with that form uh, and then we can just solve for that angle which is 55.4 degrees that's not the end of the problem though because of course we want to know this whole angle in here which will be theta plus 30 degrees okay, so we call that phi um, so we have phi equals 55.4 plus 30 degrees equals 85.4 degrees so now we have everything calculated we can write our final answers at the bottom our resultant force FR is 605 newtons and it acts at 85.4 degrees clockwise from the U-axis.